Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here and welcome back to another episode of the Purge SMP server. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing really good. Uh, I got my Paragon hoodie today. So I got my new fancy black Paragon hoodie. If you don't know, I'm partnered with the Paragon Network. And it came in and I'll probably put a picture on Twitter of it later. But it's really cool. So there you go. That happened. Oh, we gotta turn. We gotta turn these sounds down. Let me turn them down quickly. Uh, that sounds much better. But anyway, guys, we have a few things to get to doing today. I got my armor on. One of which is I have a bunch of things to show you that I've done since the previous episode. As you can see, for one thing, my entire wheat farm is fully grown. The only thing that isn't grown here is this one patch of potatoes that I'm growing to fend for myself. And these are the baked potatoes that are the result of that small potato patch. But... Besides the giant wheat farm, what I've begun doing is I have set up a little bit of a pumpkin farm. We're going to go over here and we're going to harvest some of these pumpkins today. Now, you may be thinking, Linky, why do you need so many pumpkins? Why have you made such a big farm? These aren't even grown yet. This is the addition that I added to it yesterday. But you may be saying, why are you just growing pumpkins out of the blue? Like, what's the point? Like, I understand if you wanted to grow carrots or maybe a giant potato farm or even watermelons. But pumpkins, I mean, you can make pumpkin pie with them, but it takes a lot of work. Well, Halloween's coming up, and I know you guys probably know that Halloween is slowly but surely approaching. And the reason I have these pumpkins is because we're going to be decorating spawn for Halloween. That is right, we're going to be doing some really cool stuff at spawn. I believe I had some other pumpkins in here. Unless I turned them into pumpkin seeds already. Did I? I think I might have. But we have 25 pumpkins, which is really good, and we're going to put them in our little storage room down here a little bit later in the episode. But firstly, cows are doing good. That's the other thing I wanted to update you guys on. And we're going to harvest this wheat farm now because it has been far too long since we've been able to make a harvest on this thing. So let's just get started as I talk. Halloween's coming up. So I have a few ideas for purge with it. Now, the first idea that I had was going around and pranking everybody's house with sort of like a, like a celebratory Halloween prank. I figured that would be a really cool way to celebrate Halloween on the, on the server. Also... I put back on my normal skin finally because it's not Halloween yet, so there's no point in wearing the skin. But then I can then I started thinking a bit more. I'm like, why would I waste so much of my resources building individual different pranks for everybody at their houses? I mean, I suppose I could build the same prank at every house, but that would also be boring. So what I've come up with is we're going to be Halloweenifying, if you want to use that word. We're gonna be Halloweenifying spawn. We're gonna be putting pumpkins and cobwebs and all these cool decorations and stuff up at spawn in celebration for Halloween. And we're probably going to be doing it next week or the following week. Um, I believe two we in two weeks is Halloween. Uh, next week is the follow-up the follow week to it, like the eve week of Halloween week, I suppose you could say. So probably in the next two weeks, we will decorate spawn for Halloween. And it'll be really cool and it'll be really awesome. And I'm sure everybody will love it because I'm like the decorator. Officially, I'm now calling myself the decorator because I have nothing else to say about myself because just linky. But I think it's even really cool. Uh, I've had a few ideas, and if you guys want to leave any of your suggestions for how we could decorate spawn for Halloween, leave it in the comment section down below. I'd be very interested to see what all of you think on the matter. A uh, few ideas that I've already had. Obviously, some pumpkins, and also, if you guys didn't know how to make a jack-o'-lantern... That's how you make a jack-o'-lantern. So we can make maybe some pumpkins and some jack-o'-lanterns and decorate them and put them around spawn. I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Um, we could get armor stands and maybe decorate them with different armor. Maybe make a Halloween costume shop. Like do a shop for Halloween. I think that would be really cool. Um, what else can I think of? Uh, we could potentially decorate with some cobwebs. We could get some scary stuff. Like maybe we could get some mob heads. And then we could put the mob heads around spawn. Just a bunch of really cool ideas. I've even had the thought of maybe we could fight a wither for the for Halloween. Like to celebrate Halloween, we could go into the end. Like maybe dig up, drill up in the end to the top area and fight a wither there like as a group. I think that would be pretty cool to do as well. Uh, these are all ideas that I've had. If you guys have any other suggestions as to what you think we should do on the server for Halloween, leave it in the comments section down below. I'd be very interested to see what you all think on this whole matter. And I know I've said that like two times now, but I just wanted to kind of rephrase that so you guys so I hopefully get a lot of good comments about cool Halloween suggestions and we're gonna block not like that we're going to block that off because Dan still has yet to respond to my prank and even though he did say that he was gonna respond to it and get me back but he doesn't know where my base is so Dan if you're watching this video my base is 
pretty close to, to the um the portal so if you ever want to get to it it's it's fairly close but we're gonna despawn now guys because there are a few new shops to my knowledge and to what i think i heard fluffy has done a lot of work at spawn so we're going to be heading over there today and checking out all the cool stuff that's been added to spawn hopefully a lot of it is new because i it's pretty cool to be able to show off to all of you guys some of the new stuff that's happened all right here we are Center spawn, nothing really changed, but ooh, there are there actually are a few new buildings. So let's head over here. There's this ugly thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's fairly ugly. The chum bucket. What can we buy here? We can buy chicken, which is all sold out. Or we can buy steak, which is all sold out. He's got like 14 lapis in here. So it looks like it's sold out. Uh, what about mail? What about the post office? Did we get any mail or anything? Uh, DJ, let's see. Nothing. No mail for me. You know what we'll do? We'll leave DJ a nice little pumpkin. Happy Halloween, DJ. But let's head out of here, and this is what I wanted to show you. So, these are temporary roads until we can come up with a main design for roads. But these, these are like the roads on Purge Spawn. This is where we're going to be expanding Purge to in the future with more buildings and all that cool stuff. It's going to be really fun. And there's some exposed coal here, which I will definitely take. I mean, you can never go wrong. You can never have too much coal. Am I right? I know I'm right. But I'm just going to grab all of this because why the heck not? I mean, it's here. May as well. And we can cover up this exposed rock while we're at it. But I figured, just grab this. And so, yeah, what do you guys think of where the roads are? Like, do you like where they go? They go in a square right now. So they just go kind of like around the central area. And that's just a base design. We can obviously add to it, improve to it in the future. Just do anything we really want with it because obviously it is our spawn. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, my shop is pretty much done. So that's really nice. Um, that's opening soon for the public to come in and use and buy from. I think it'll be really cool. There's just like an endless amount of coal down here, it feels like. But we're just going to grab all of this and be on our merry way in a quick second. Um, so basically, what I wanted to talk about in today's video was all the Halloween stuff, all that good stuff. <clears throat> the fact that I'm getting a sore throat as I'm making this video it's kind of irritating, so we're just going to have to wait for that to subside as we get the remainder of this coal, which should be complete. Oh, no, we got a little bit more. I think we're out now. Yeah, I think we are. We got, how many we get? We got a stack of 19. Oh, and there's some more iron still. We got a stack of 19 coal, which is pretty good, and 12 iron, so not too shabby. All right, let's head out of here. Where did we, where did we come in from? Just get the heck out of here. We can cover this back up. I mean, no point in having it exposed, right? It's like kind of just pointless, but there we are. So I'll run around this so you guys can take a look at where the road goes and all this stuff. Uh, this, I don't know what the deal with this is. Maybe this is a spot for a new shop. I'm not sure. It kind of looks really ugly right now. This is where the this is where the road ends. Right here, and we're probably going to expand it that way uh, pretty soon to connect with that road down there. I want to go over there. I haven't checked. I haven't checked if Fluffy has connected the roads at all. This is also a little little tree farm that we have set up because uh, I forget who, maybe it was Gapple or someone, I'm not sure, but he tore down a lot of the trees around Purge Spawn just to make room and kind of thinking he can make the scenery better, I don't know, make it look more like England, just hills, but, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> let's not, let's not delve into stereotypes today, but that happened, so that's why we have a tree farm, oh, and speaking of British people, which is a very strange, a very strange way to change topics here. Uh, Aplicity has joined the Purge SMP server, so if you are not a viewer of Aplicity, uh, his link is in the description. All the Purge members' links are in the description. And he's also in my sub box, so if you are not subscribed to him, if you don't watch his videos, you should probably go do that like now, because he makes really cool content, and I think you guys would enjoy seeing what he has to offer as he's British, so it just makes him instantly ten times cooler than all of us Americans. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end off today's episode of Purge here. If you all enjoyed, please be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you enjoy Purge, let me know in the comment section as well as what you think about the Halloween stuff for Spawn and our business and all that cool stuff. And as always, I've been Linky, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.